All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Past Money. That's Alex over there. Kirby over here. Um, uh, tax time is coming on. And one thing that I see or hear a lot of people talk about, especially the people that uh, watch the uh, quote-unquote experts on YouTube, social media, they talk about how real estate or business, you can write off everything. And then people, you know, they go to write off, write off, write off, write off, write off. But in the real estate game, it's the difference between expenses and depreciation. And expenses and depreciation does two things. And first off, I am not a tax expert. Please reach out to a CPA, reach out to a tax professional or anything like that. But I'm just giving you ideals from my experience with taxes and real estate. Um, but in real estate, it's a game you have to play. You want to pay the least amount of taxes possible. But when you do that, you also, the only way you can pay the least amount of taxes, let me back that up. The way you pay the least amount of taxes is showing you make the least amount of income. But then on the reverse side, when you want to go buy another property, because you didn't do your taxes correctly, the bank saying you don't make enough income to buy the next property. But before I jump into all the craziness, Alex, what you got on? Yeah, this is something I'm learning. Um, you know, just trying to tweak over the years. Um, I learned how to do my taxes better from you, or not per se. I don't personally do my taxes. Um, I do have a uh, a CPA that doesn't, but I know what to at least point out now and inquire about. Uh, most people, I think, submit their taxes and they have no idea what they can actually also submit along with their uh, W-2s and such or 1099s. So I'm just trying to tweak it, you know, over these years, over the past three years, three, four years, just been trying to learn more on the tax game. So now I'm learning there's, you know, I, I knew that there was depreciation, but I didn't know. Now it makes sense how you want to actually depreciate it. So you aren't paying income tax or high income tax, but also showing enough income to get loans for investments and stuff because, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just, just laughing about telling Kirby that, uh, did my taxes, uh, and it shows that we're 119 percent on the poverty line. <laughs> so that 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 was right. uh, that was just comical to me. I was like, "Good lord!" Like, so it's just too many write offs. Um, so is have I have to tweak it more and more just to get it perfected. Um, to where because honestly, for for those that may not really realize this, when you get a tax return, it's money you've already paid in taxes that you're getting back. It's not like the government's just handing you free money or nothing like that. So you want to give as less as possible to the government, legally speaking. Um, and uh, But at the same time, you know, qualify for more investments. Right. Yeah. And I hear people when I explain what you just said, that a tax refund is only a refund for what you paid. It's not hey, this is extra money. This is not a tax. Here's extra money because we feel sorry for you. The only right. thing they're giving you is the money back that you already paid them. And I always say, why would you give the government tax-free loans when if you owe them money, they're going to charge you interest by the days? That's just saying, we, we're two friends. Hey, Alex, I asked you to borrow $1,000. You just give it to me. I pay you back $1,000. But when you ask me for $1,000, I'll be like, well, here go $1,000. We're going to put 8% interest on that until you pay me back. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. But that's what the government's doing. Um, yeah, and it's and it's a tricky game to play. And back uh, when I first started, I, I made that mistake. Um, I expensed everything, expensed everything, expensed everything. And then... I, I was like, oh, let me go get a loan this time for a property. And then the bank was like, oh, you can make enough money for, to be getting a loan. And I was like, huh? 
But the thing is, I knew I made enough, but because I expensed everything, it showed that it's a reoccurring expense every year. So that it looks like that's the money that that's the only money I have. And then after I looked at the taxes, that's when I was like, oh, now I see what they mean. Because the guy, uh, bless his heart, he went he went through it with me and explained it to me. Uh, I love I love learning. I love I tell people I'm a nerd when it comes to finance. So. When he took the time out to explain it, like, hey, look at this. This is why. This is why. I was like, oh, okay. And then, so, like you say, people go to their tax person, you know, H&R Block, TurboTax, CPAs. And then they give, they just give their, uh, all their documentation and everything to the CPA. CPA job, because they are taxes only, they're looking at, they're looking at, hey, let me find a way to get this person a bigger return. But you should have communication. You should be talking to your tax person, CPA, you know, at least on a quarterly basis, you know, trying to figure out like, hey, this is this is what I'm trying to obtain with taxes. Also, this is what I'm trying to do and to have my tax return show so I can keep building my real estate portfolio in the future. So just black and I always say this is if you're going to have a CPA or whatever or a tax person. Try to find one that that is used to doing taxes for people in real estate. And if you you only talking to your tax person once a year, and that's when you say, "Hey, tax time," and you just hand it to them, and you didn't have a conversation on what you're trying to achieve, the outcome and that's your fault. It's not the CPA's fault. The CPA is just doing what they've been trained to do. If you not have a conversation like you have with your CPA, you know, trying to get the objective and showing what you're trying to do. Then I mean it's a work in progress, and I don't know if your CPA specializes in real estate or whatever, but it's a work in progress trying to talk to them and get them to understand what you're trying to do because you're trying to do two things: you're trying to pay the least amount of taxes legally, but you're trying to show to the banks you make the most amount of income possible to do the next deal and do the next deal. So I did have a year, so I'm not immune to it. Uh, I did have a year when I when I uh, expensed everything and then I had to have a year of just sitting back doing nothing. Well, I couldn't finance nothing. So I just had to use all my cash and go buy a property in cash. And that was just that was just the way it worked. But now I know better. So now I can do better. So it's it's good to to know the difference. But again, I'm not a a, a CPA. I'm not a, a tax expert. Please reach out to the experts. I'm just explaining just giving broad strokes on how i look how people in real estate should look at uh finances or taxes when they're starting out alex you got anything else yeah uh before I, before we close um i remember you telling me that learning the tax game is this was years ago but i remember it was something like you had told me that when you learn the tax game then you really make money and that couldn't be truer because there's so many tax advantages to investments and especially real estate. And like you said, if people look at the tax codes, they'll see that it tells them how to actually depreciate assets and how to take advantage of, um, you know, expenses and stuff. But people, they don't look at that and they end up paying more than they probably should in taxes. Um, because they file it wrong but yeah like Kirby said get with the CPA or tax professional on um, on your taxes we're just giving you our experience and uh, but there's plenty of um, knowledge out there on the internet on how you can do better with your taxes so we'll close out there but with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.